Hi there, Deidre from our Upcycled Life. I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And today we're gonna find out if the toilet bowl cleaner makes metal rust. Seen lots of people do it on YouTube, but I wanted to try it myself because I have lots of bits and pieces of metal that are brand new and I wanna make them look rustic and old to add into my projects. Put this to the test. I'm gonna show you the results. We might be a little bit surprised. So make sure you stick through the end to see how they all turn out. Okay, Lysol toilet bowl cleaner experiment. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm doing before I test any of this is I'm doing this in a really well ventilated area. I'm in my shed with the doors and the windows all open. Got gloves on, glasses on, and I'm also wearing a mask. And I have not tried this method before. So all of this is going to be trial and error. I've picked up the Lysol bleach toilet bowl cleaner and I've got a bunch of different metal objects that I'm going to test it on. This one is some jar rings and I had some muffin tins and I'm just putting them in a plastic baggie and put the toilet bowl cleaner in and just squishing it all around so they get coated really well. I tried to pick a whole bunch of different metals so we could see how they all react. I've got a couple wrenches and this door pull. I've got a little latch and I've got another little latch. I'm gonna throw that all in there. And again, just really coat it really well with that toilet bowl cleaner. Squish it all around so I know that it's all covered and then just zip it up in the zippy bag. And I actually have no idea what metals any of these things are either. I probably should have done some research beforehand, so I kind of knew what I was trying to make rust, but like I said, this is gonna be fun. We're just gonna see what's gonna happen. And I had a little key, I had some shower rings or curtain rings and some nails, again, in the zippy, and squish them all around and zip up the bag. I also had this cake tin um, and it's just gonna barely go into the bag, but I think I'm gonna be able to make it work. And we're gonna try to coat it the best I can with that toilet bowl cleaner. And I'm going to, when I've got these all finished, I'm gonna set them outside in the sun. And I've heard people say that they have results by the next day. So we're gonna check back and see. I might come out a couple times during the rest of this day and kind of just turn them over so I make sure that it keeps getting coated in the plastic bags. I got them all finished. I've laid them out on my grass on a piece of cardboard out in the sun. I don't know if that's gonna make it work faster or not, but I'm gonna go out every couple hours, flip the bags around, make sure that it's staying coated, and I'll keep you updated. Okay, so after one day, nothing. I left it a week, and here is where we're at. Um, I had a little bit happening, but not very much. I was kind of surprised. I thought it, would been, it was going to rust a lot more, a lot quicker. It just didn't. So I think it actually really is going to matter what you're trying to rust. And some of these, I'm not sure if they're gonna rust at all. So the other thing that I kind of thought of was it wasn't getting any oxygen. It wasn't getting any air with those zippy bags being closed. So I thought what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw them all in this pail. Don't put a lid on it. Let the oxygen and the air get at it, but still keep them coated with this toilet bowl cleaner and see if we can get some better results. And as you can see, I'm, I'm just not getting a lot of rust on anything. And this has been a full week in the baggies outside in the sun through the night i left it all out now i did get quite a bit of rust on this little cake pan um and it's starting to look really good but this is about the only piece that i was getting some real visible rust on it okay so now we're three or four days later i went away for the weekend and i just left this outside in the pail just to let the air get at it and let the toilet bowl cleaner soak into everything. And it definitely did make a difference. I've got quite a bit of rust on this cake pan and it's tarnished really nice. I really like that. I've taken this in uh, with, to my garden hose and I've rinsed off all of the toilet bowl cleaner, made sure that it's nice and clean now so I can show you all the rust. I got quite a bit on these um, canning lids. They rusted really nice. Not as much as I thought they were going to, but it's still nice. Now I got absolutely nothing on these. I think they're aluminum and they're just not going to rust. There might be a little couple little spots. It definitely pitted it and tarnished it, but it did not rust it. This little latch, I got a little bit here and there. 
but I think some of these metal pieces, they have a coating on them, so they're meant not to rust. So it's really hard to penetrate through that. And you can see just a little tiny little bit of rust on that right wrench and just a little bit here, not very much still. After leaving it in the baggie for a full week and then outside over the whole weekend, this handle, nothing. It did rust on where this, the screws go in and the actual screws, but the handle did not rust at all. And this pull, not much rust, except maybe on the back. There's a little bit here and there. I think it might've had a coating on it also. These knobs or pulls, I don't know what happened to them. They really corroded and I'm wondering if they're brass. Uh, I can't scrub this white off. It's actually etched right into the middle. The metal. This little latch is got some rust on it and I actually like the look of it. It turned out not too bad. This handle, absolutely nothing nothing happened to it other than it rusted the screws that were in it these nails actually rusted quite a bit they're they corroded really well i've got some nice rust on them and these little curtain hooks they're hard to see because they're dark but they did rust quite a bit actually and this little key nothing it may be corroded and pitted a little bit but no rust so my husband suggested that I borrow his magnet and see if the magnet sticks to it, it's probably gonna rust. If the magnet doesn't stick to it, you're probably not gonna get much rust. This, is be, this being aluminum, not gonna rust much. It'll corrode, but not rust. And the little handles, uh, the drawer pulls, I think they might've been brass. So again, they're not going to rust, they're just gonna corrode. Like I said before, I don't know much about the chemistry and the different metals. I just wanted some pieces to turn rusty and pretty, but I'm sure there's some of you out there that will probably be able to teach me a lot more about why they rusted and why they didn't. So let me know down in the comments. Okay, so in conclusion, I found that it was way too much chemistry for me to figure out. This metal does this, this metal does that. It rusts, it doesn't rust. I'm kind of overwhelmed, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna take pieces that I want to make rusty, throw them in a bucket, put some Lysol toilet bowl cleaner in there, and whatever happens, happens. Um, but it definitely did work on some projects, and I'm excited to use it in some of my DIYs. So experiment yourself, and give it a try, and let me know how you make out. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. And if you really love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two.